welcome to the Tuesday DC. Today we had an exciting day in markets. It started early this morning with the uh, monthly report of the Consumer Price Index. I do think on Monday, I uh, accidentally said it was coming on Wednesday and the correct day for CPI is always Tuesday. So forgive me for the error, but the CPI number that came this morning was uh, 0.01% month over month in uh, consumer inflation. And that means a 4% year over year down from 4.9 the month prior. And this 4% year over year is now the lowest um, that we have seen since March of 2021. So in 27 months. And even with that said, uh, the uh, owner's equivalent rent was coming in at 8% year over year with uh, current uh, monthly rents coming in at 8.6%. And that number is likely much closer to 2% in real life. So I um, have calculated that of the 4% inflation uh, at a 34% weighting for shelter, that roughly 2.16% of it is coming uh, from a shelter number that I think ought to be much less. So look, you can turn the knobs a little bit one way or the other, but I do believe you're somewhere around a 2% CPI year over year number if you were properly weighting uh, shelter. And so the uh, markets did rally on the news uh, the, the Fed is at this point in the futures market well over 90% probability of just a pause tomorrow, yet the um, number in July is up to a 65% implied probability of a rate hike next month, but no rate hike tomorrow on Fed Day. Um, so the Dow today was up 145 points, which was, you know, close to half a percent. S&P was up about 0 0.6, 0 0.65%, and uh, NASDAQ was up 0.83%. Uh, but the leading sector today was materials, which were up a whopping 2.33% on the day. And then I always love the days when every sector is up, but technically utilities we're down by six basis points, so really close to the flat line, but nevertheless, the one uh, sector on the day that was technically in the red. Um, in terms of oil prices, they were up 3.23% today. So again, as oil hits into the kind of low to mid 70s, it has tended to check back. As it checks back to the mid to high 60s, it tends to to move forward. We've been in this kind of 67 to 73 range for WTI crude for a little while now. Um, I don't have a lot of commentary to add on what the Fed will or will not do tomorrow. I do think what they'll do tomorrow is nothing. But then I think they'll come out and say like, oh no, this is not a, a, a long pause or a pivot. We're just going to take a month off and then we fully expect to be back at it next month. And it does beg the question as to why they would. Now, look, do I think there's an increasing possibility that they will end up not raising rates in July? I do, but it's just so tainted by my belief that they shouldn't be that um, who knows if I am, uh, con you know, confusing what is versus what ought to be. I um, believe that the Fed... Uh, tomorrow will jawbone one way or the other. It's a very possible, as I always say the day before Fed Day, that you'll get some enhanced volatility in the aftermath of what they do. The bulk of the time that is meant um, in a kind of flattish day up until their announcement, then a bit of a rally into the announcement, then a sell-off into the close, and a lot of it just having to do with the way in which trades are wound or unwound coming into that moment. And I don't uh, know exactly what offsides positioning you would expect on a day like tomorrow when almost everybody's expecting them to pause. And then if people say, well, it's the language that they'll use to describe July, I got to think everyone's expecting them to talk as if they will be raising in July. That's certainly my expectation. So don't care about much of any of that um, short term, long term, I think that uh, the Fed's decision that they should keep going until they break something is why they we're even having this conversation 
and what it is that they will break and what they think that will accomplish for inflation when inflation is coming down the way that it has been, I uh, cannot answer, but you certainly know that I'm critical of it. So that's where we are. Uh, pretty broad update in the markets today, and we'll come back at you tomorrow. Actually, uh, my partner Brian Seitel will be bringing you DC Today tomorrow as I'll be out in the afternoon, uh, and, and I'll be back with you on Thursday, okay? Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for reading. Thanks so much for watching the DC Today. Mm -hmm.